Now let's see if Nuke can break our brakes. Turn that down. I can hear too much. How about ghosts caught on camera? Nick does life. Nick Martin from Clearfield, Pennsylvania dedicates his YouTube account to his dream of one day becoming the proud owner of a brand new RV to live in and travel the country. In one of his videos, Nick does a vlog post mentioning that sadly, one of his favorite RV life YouTube channels might be quitting YouTube soon. As Nick casually paces back and forth through his house to help compose his thoughts, he suddenly captures something absolutely spine chilling. There, there is, there's YouTubers on this platform that, you know, they're not like super, super like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for it. here? Uh, what looks like a headless dark figure can be seen standing in the hallway. Hold your damn horse. Right behind Nick. Uh, it could be now it was one of Nick's loyal viewers, Megan, who actually noticed the creepy apparition and emailed me about the video. She also reached out to Nick, who reacts somewhat confused and just explains that, hey, I don't make ghost videos. Of course, I then got in contact with Nick, who is absolutely shocked by what he captured. Nick says he's seen and heard some strange things in his life, but never really thought much about them. Nick says he has no idea who or what this horrifying headless figure could be. But what do you think? Share your thoughts down in the comments. I mean, I don't like to poke at anybody doing any type of fundraising. But he said his channel is a fundraiser channel. The quickest way to do that is to show something spooky. And then pretend you don't see it, because then it'll draw attention. People are like, oh, well, he didn't. So I'm kind of like, uh, I'm torn. Nuke actually talked to him. Nuke doesn't seem that turned off by it. He's just like, hey, yeah, so legitimately, you know, something's there. Eh. The Grainport um, Tunnels. That's not enough for me. British paranormal enthusiast Steve Ballard often conducts extensive explorations of old abandoned tunnels and forts. In this particular video, Steve is joined by his friend Stuart as they investigate the historic underground grain fort tunnels in Kent, England. The fort was oh, built during the 1860s involve. and survived two world wars, but later the fort was left abandoned and the actual structure was demolished. However, the underground tunnels beneath the grain fort are still there over 150 years later. Steve is showing his friend around the winding maze of halls and empty rooms when his equipment begins to act strangely. Oh, oh my little torch is just going out. Don't charge. I'll charge it up today before I come out. That's weird. That's usually a good sign that something's in there. That's weird. Oh, that was weird, people. My torch just went out. And it went out here, here last time as well. When I come down here the first time, Stu, um, I could feel someone breathing down my neck. Literally breathing right down my neck. Hello? Anyone here? Steve recalls a creepy event from a past visit, but little does he know that their current exploration is about to become much more disturbing. Really How you mean? Is there anyone here? Oh, why is that doing that? Stuart, I, I, I'll keep getting the shadows going past this light down here. On, the, on that lock off camera. Look at my phone. That's weird. Look, look watch, watch my phone. If you turn your light off a minute, watch my phone. Wait. Watch. See it? That's gone. Yeah. It keeps going, it keeps going off. Yeah. It's almost like there's something going in front of that, in, that light down there. Yeah. 
A strange shadow blocks out a faint light in one of the tunnels, almost as if someone or something is walking back and forth. Although a little creeped out, the two friends continue their investigation. What happens next is downright chilling. This tunnel is... Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's really smart. It's really uh, clean. Yeah. And it's dry, look. For the best part. Yeah. Did you see it? A shadow-like figure can be seen walking through the tunnel right in front of the two friends. They don't see it, but Steve is shocked when he looks back at his footage. Now Steve has no idea who or what this could have been, and creepiest of all, whatever it is, doesn't make a sound. Now if you notice, Steve and Stuart's footsteps are loud as they echo through the tunnel system. But whatever this is, it makes no audible sound at all as it hurries across the end of the tunnel. It's amazing, isn't it? It's really small. It's really uh, clean. Yeah. And it's dry, look. For the best part. Yeah. So what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this entire power. exploration over that on the YouTube channel, really Steve Ballard, The Stowaway. Friends David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals are out in the middle of the night to explore the abandoned oh, Zion great. Presbyterian Church Cemetery, which was founded all the way back in 1851. The graveyard so sits pretty. isolated, deep in the countryside of South Carolina. David and Dell find themselves in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods and graves. Dude. Always some crazy Dude, this place looks old, man. Like, big time old. There's no church on the other side of it? There's no from the woods from what I can see. It's dark as hell. Recording. I can't see anything. Oh, I got this tunnel. Zion. I mean, that's got a church. That says a church cemetery. Where's the church? <laughs> church might burn down a long time ago. I don't know about this one, man. <sighs> Why do we choose to do one that's like out in the woods? Because we live out near the woods. I mean, at first glance, this has got to be one of the creepiest looking graveyards I've ever seen. Go check out what it is. I mean, look at these like crosses. I mean, just saying, like, you see, why are there pineapples right there? Oh, God, you hear that? Hit me. What was that? This motherfucker just say pineapples. You hear that? That was right here. Like right. Oh. <laughs> David and Dell are obviously a little creeped out by the eerie atmosphere of the cemetery and Got joke him. around to keep everything a bit more lighthearted. But all that changes when David suddenly hears something moving right behind him. Yeah. Uh. Dirt deal. Saw, saw. I don't know what I saw. I don't know what I saw. I don't know what I saw. It, I thought it was a person. David sees someone watching him from the bushes, and he. I thought it was a person. Uh, no, David sees this. someone watching him from the bushes. I thought it was a person. David sees someone watching him from the bushes. No, no, that's clearly a morph suit. And he bolts away in terror. He warns Dell about what he just saw, and they decide to just get the out of there. 
Now, the two friends in no way claim that this terrifying encounter is even anything paranormal. In fact, David believes that he saw just a real person creepily sitting there in the bushes in a graveyard in the middle of nowhere. And as I've always said on this channel, sometimes real people are way scarier than anything paranormal. Especially when you pay them to be a plant. Especially weirdos hiding in graveyards. But who or what this actually is remains a mystery. Months later, reports. and after many viewer requests, uh, David and Dell gather their courage and decide to explore the cemetery once again. Nothing much happens, but as David reviews their footage, he finds something that shocks him to his core. You have heard like a bunny Even mask, like a camera. birthday mask. See, to me, I didn't really... I can see why people would say maybe it's a mask. I really can't tell. At first, I couldn't even tell where a head was. Uh, you know what I mean? All I saw was just that something was moving, but the more and more, like yo. after you edited and everything and oh, looked at it on no. the screen and not on the phone, then you could tell it's like something like yeah, it, head up. Without either of them knowing, someone opens up the back of David's car and just kind of hops inside. David and Dell then drive the same car all the way back home. David says that in the morning after their visit to the cemetery, he found the back of his car open, but nothing inside oh, was fuck missing. That. It goes without saying that he's worried that now whoever was in the back of the car with them knows where he lives. I hope you got so guns. what do you think is going on here? Could this just Shit. be a homeless stranger that was looking for a free ride? Or is it something much, much worse? One of two scenarios. Either that's a friend, again, that they had with them. Like, hey, come and be a creepy person. Two, that is somebody who is asking to get shot. Let me know what you think. You can watch this creepy encounter and many more over on the YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. TikTok user James Fowler oh, bought a very God. creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James oh. that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal but and knew the doll was worth quite a bit burned. of money. So creepy. he bought it and took That's it home. Creepy. That's when he realized that he no. had made a huge mistake. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James no. decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. Senses motion or that's dust floating around, that's not orbs. Somebody got a little, little Terry? Hello. The camera moves around as it tracking movement somewhere in the empty room. So it is but moving. Nothing's moving. Then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor in the hallway behind the doll. I mean, that James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion. Something like so that. he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another he could also be phone, lying about the camera and it not be motion footage, He is shocked. Also, why does this room look abandoned? What is this? I'm um, sorry. Fuck off. You could go fuck off with what I just did. 
No, I need a drink after that shit. Yeah, let's make it a double. Fuck off. No. Fucking hate dolls so damn much. The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't see. Then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James Hell, says that he was a skeptic before all shit. this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. But what Burn is it. happening here? Is it real? Put it or in a is grave. it all just Got an elaborate salt, hoax? Yes, you decide. Prayer, little Hail Mary and just below like the surface. Shit. Oh, Urban explorer like ILM and Bono Paranormal is back on another exploration. This time at an abandoned underground heating plant shelter somewhere in the middle of the forest in the Czech Republic. Just to be safe, Bono inspects the entire complex to make sure that he's completely alone before he even starts to explore. Then he leaves some of his extra belongings in one of the shelter's rooms and starts his investigation. Now, almost immediately, things take a bizarre why turn. Why leave anything? What? All these, what? all these smaller rooms. Yeah, this is just, I'm gonna go there. So, later. This is the room. Close it. This is the room where I have my stuff. This is the little uh, thing I keep my gimbal in because it's kind of fragile. Hello. Hello. Mom. The door to the room that he had just closed seconds before appears to swing open by itself. Now, of course, this could simply just be caused by a draft. Yeah. But as Mono like continues to explore it. through the underground complex, things just get much, much weirder. Yeah, and this is the second um, entrance. Here are. Um, and it really starts. To really Freak, that scared me. Is that could be used? Could be used for stuff, you know. Still, like people could make homes. I've seen it. They make underground bunkers for homes and stuff like that. How the fuck is that ring? Hello? Okay, so... Well, might as well go answer it, fucker. Yep, there it is. No way, this... Oh. It's not plugged in. Hmm. You see the wire? He could have just had his phone set up to play. Okay. Okay. An old unplugged phone rings as if it's still working. Bono inspects the phone but finds no explanation as to how the phone could have rung. So now he begins to get more and more creeped out, being underground and completely alone in this sprawling shelter. But Bono is determined to keep recording and he scouts through more and more empty rooms and creepy hallways. So I'm here at the entrance, it's already kind of dark and I went again through the all through the whole complex and there's just no one there so either they ran away or I don't know they did it remotely or it's just like the phone is haunted I don't know I like to like 
not a thing that someone is caused by hunting till it's just completely un, uh, like you know <laughs> till you just can't explain it by anything uh, by, by anything but Hello. No. What looks like a heavy metal plate seems to rise up from the ground on its own and then falls. Bono is freaked out and makes a run for it. But unfortunately, Bono realizes that he has left his belongings back inside one of the rooms. And so he has to go back in to collect them. What happens next could be is not chilling. Alone with the they have Spread. Did that. You need to quit fucking around with your shit. What's kind of fire, but I think in this direction. I think it was far, but okay. I have to go for my stuff, so I don't think you do have to. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. A deep rumble makes Bono freeze in his tracks. He tries to determine where the sound came from, and as he goes to check it out, well, did you see it? A dark figure can be seen peeking from around the corner at the end of the hallway. The explorer doesn't even notice and walks right past where the figure appeared. It wasn't until later when viewers of his YouTube channel pointed out the strange peeker that Bono realized what he had captured. He says he has no idea who or what this could be. So it's up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel. ILMN Bono Paranormal Contamination So for the people who stayed around all the way till the end, I have one more video that is very creepy, but honestly, just a little too good to be true. In this video, two Japanese friends can be seen hiking deep into the woods on a nature trail somewhere in Japan. It's starting to get dark when one of the guys becomes very ill. His friend hurries off to find a restroom on the trail to bring back water for his sick friend. And this is where the peaceful hiking trip turns into the stuff of nightmares. Why wouldn't you have water with you? Every good hiker knows this.
何え、ちょ、誰かいんのなんで水をえなんでいいのうなんだったのうん Creepy giggling can be heard from somewhere inside the restroom. Then the guy's sick friend, who he left far behind on the trail, is suddenly standing right behind him in the reflection of the restroom mirror. But something about his friend just does not look quite right. Then someone grabs the guy's arm, and as he looks up, he sees a woman with a diseased looking face who quickly disappears right before his eyes. Horrible, moldy scratches are left on his arm. And when he looks in the mirror, he recoils in horror. Now, it's totally fake, but this video definitely completely creeped me out the first time I saw it. So I thought I would share, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, because the, the whole tears thing, there's, there's a magician.、Uh, I learned how to be able to cry blood and make it look like it's coming. Down out of my eyes, so that could be easily recreated with green instead of red, or maybe that was black. And then the moldy hand that's easy, you just load it on the person's hand beforehand. I was about to say, I'm gonna start tearing this all apart because this looks like a staging for like a horror film short that some guys are trying to promote, or maybe they want to make an entire horror movie. That's usually where most horror shorts, horror films start, is they start at shorts, like some person's idea. Watching my posting schedule right now makes just no sense. So please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you never miss a video. Instagram's here, Twitter's there, and I really hope to see you back again next time.